Okay, we're gonna put a little pause on the flip another furniture and we're gonna do some wall decorations. I'm gonna do a decoration for the bathroom. So I have me some stencils. I have some canvases. I have some spackling tools. I have some spackling. I have some acrylic paint. I have some paint brushes. And I have a secret material that I'm gonna tell you about in Double a few J. moments. So let's get Double J. Oh, graphics, 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 graphics. Hello, hello. Before I get started, I want to take this time to thank you all for watching this video. And let's get to it. So the first thing I did was do a base layer of black paint on all of my canvases, making sure that I covered the sides. I was not sure what I was going to do at this point, so I put a base layer. That is not a necessary step for you. Once I put the base layer on the canvases, I let it dry completely. Once that canvas was dry, I was ready to start layering and adding my colors. Since I was using three main colors, I divided my canvas into three parts, two smaller parts on the side and a large portion in the middle. I also went back and put a strip of tape on there that I'm going to leave bare for this moment. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do decorations around Dollar Tree towels. So. These are the colors that they had in my Dollar Tree when I went earlier. And these are the colors that I have that kind of sort of match. So this is what I'm going to base my bathroom decorations off of. Okay, we've built our foundation for this wall piece. By the way, this is going to go on the wall. It's a canvas, so I'm going to put it on the wall. Once I had my canvas marked out, I just got to decorating. So I put a base layer of the um, brown paint in the middle because brown is what I'm going to have the most focal point on. So it's the biggest portion. Okay, I had two other shades of brown that I decided to use. And I had this peanut butter looking color and I just poured it on there and smeared it around with the sponge paintbrush. Then I used the round flat paintbrush from the Dollar Tree to dab on the third color, which was a very dark espresso, thereby making a great design on that portion. I allowed the middle section to dry completely prior to taking the um, tape off of the end sections. On this section, I have a very light blue teal like color. And I have two other blues to go with that. So I put the base color. And for this section, I used the lightest color as my base. And then I came back in with the other two colors. Again, no design in particular. I just made it look pretty by layering it on and using my sponge paint brushes to make designs. Once I do that, I allowed that to dry and went to the other side and added the pink. On the pink portion, I only had one pink acrylic paint, so I didn't have a different color pink. What I did was take some red paint, mix it with some white paint, and make that my second pink color. And again, I used the sponge just to make a design. On the blue portion, I just kind of scribbled back and forth. And on the pink portion, I used the round foam brush from the Dollar Tree to make a design. Once I finished that, I allowed the canvases to dry completely. Yes, I did say canvases because you can see that I have other canvases. I'm using two 8x8s from the Dollar Tree. Those are the ones without the frame. I did split them diagonally. 
I put brown on both of them on one section and the other section one I put the blue and one I put the pink and I tried to mirror the designs as closely as I could from the large canvas again I allowed it to dry completely then I went back and removed the last strips of the masking tape and I decided where well, that strip of tape was at, since it is still black, I am going to use some gold metallic adhesive tape. And I use some fix all from the Dollar Tree to help the tape stay. Even though it is adhesive, it will not stick completely on the canvas. So I just use some of the fix all from the Dollar Tree to help it stay. I also put a gold strip on the smaller canvases down the middle where I had the tape at. Once I finish that, the canvases are prepared and ready for the final portion, which is the stencil. I use the hard plastic stencils from the Amazon. I will link my Amazon store below, which has some of the things I use in my videos. I will also put individual links for the things that I used in this particular video below. So I took the stencil and I taped the stencil onto the canvases in the place that I want. I made sure I taped all the way around the stencil so there was no chance that it would move. Then I get the modeling paste. The modeling paste is very creamy, probably the consistency of a thin icing. Spread the modeling paste on the stencil evenly, making sure that you are getting all the spots that are cut out for the stencil when you are spreading the stencil I used a rubber bowl scraper from the Dollar Tree so it's over in the um, kitchen session a Betty Crocker spatula and I found that that worked the best once you put the modeling cream the modeling paste on the stencil you're gonna spread it out Make sure it's even. Do not press down hard. You're going to do a light sweep on top of it to remove the excess paste. Once you have it all over and you are satisfied that you have reached every corner and you have the paste even, you're going to take that spatula and you're going to remove the excess paste and you can put that back in the jar. Then you're going to gently lift up your stencil. So you take it from a corner, take the tape up from a corner and pull straight up. You do not have to wait for the paste to dry. You take it off as soon as you remove the excess paint. The excess paste, I'm sorry, not paint. Once you remove the stencil, you're going to allow the modeling paste to dry completely. Once the modeling paste is completely dry, you can go back and clean up any spots that need to be worked on in case the modeling paste went up under the stencil. Anything like that, you can come back with your paint and a small brush and do the edges and make sure that your lines are crisp. Once you complete that, you're finished. Now the set is ready to be hung up. I'm going to show you the completed set so you can see what it looked like. I'm not able to hang it on the bathroom wall at this time, unfortunately, because I am redoing my bathroom. So it's not ready to hang up. But this is the completed set. I just took the Dollar Tree towels and washcloths and rolled them up and added them to a Dollar Tree party bowl that I had spray painted to complete the look. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new content. Also follow my other YouTube channel, Steph Talk. It is also a crafting channel, but I use the power tools on that one. Let's go. Thank you, guys.